Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Last week, the family and I set off on an adventure, and we explored almost the entire state of Georgia and some of Tennessee. We got to experience lots of new places, try new foods, and visit great friends. In today's video, I'm going to share with you our experience traveling home because on this journey home, we were met with so many challenges and problems that we just were not expecting. And it's gone forever. What? The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. We started our morning at our tiny house in North Georgia. We got the kids fed and dressed and ready to head out. I had stayed up really late the night before getting all the bags packed. So all we really had to do was load up the car and clean up the house. Oh yes, and I did make lunches ahead of time as well. Today's lunch has sort of a baby food theme to it, so stay tuned to find out why. So once we had the car all packed up, and we also had the house all cleaned up, I gave everything the ones over just to make sure we weren't forgetting anything. And while we were doing that, unfortunately Griffin tripped and hit his face on the staircase. Now I really love this Airbnb that we stayed at, but I was concerned from day one that some kid might hurt themselves on the staircase. And sure enough, five minutes before we left, Griffin did. So he ended up with a bit of a bloody lip. Thankfully, it didn't look very serious. He didn't need stitches or anything like that. And he got over it pretty quickly. The last thing we needed to do before we drove away from the tiny house was close and lock this little red gate. Right as I was doing that, something, some kind of bug stung me and it hurt so bad. This bite really did swell up quite a bit. Thankfully I had this after bite balm that I could put on it so it did help it a little bit. Now this next part of the day was definitely filled with a lot of fun, but a lot of drama as well. We stopped at the Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland, and this is where the Cabbage Patch dolls are born. This was so much fun, and we got to meet Fallon and her family. Cabbage Patch dolls really have a special place in my heart. I grew up with these dolls, and I still love them today. So it was really fun to bring my kids here so that they could experience all the fun. I'm so sad to leave these guys. We had Me so too. much fun. I know. But so I know sad. that we'll see them again. Yes. So. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming Bye. to Georgia. And don't forget to check out <laughs> Moss Family TV. Yes. They're my favorite. You we can would probably love tell. To have you. We would love to have you over there. And <laughs> the Family Fudge is my favorite. <laughs> All right. See Bye. you later. Before we left Babyland, we all got to bring home a souvenir, and Jackson chose this little squishy stress ball, but unfortunately it busted in the car and made a huge mess. This was definitely unexpected. This white powder was everywhere. So we had to say goodbye to our friends at Moss Family TV, and we headed to a car wash where we vacuumed out the car, and thankfully it came up pretty easily. Not too hard to clean it up, but by that time we needed to race to the airport. And if you've ever been to the Atlanta airport, you'll know it's a huge airport and it takes quite a while to get through the airport. So we really had to hurry. So then it was time for us to go through security and going through security with so many kids is challenging enough but after waiting about 20 minutes in the line as soon as we got to the front we realized that we couldn't pull up our boarding passes on the phone so we had to get out of the line and go back and get our boarding passes printed out and then we could go through security but in the rush of it we realized that when we were going through security not all the bags made it with us we forgot Griffin's backpack full of all of his activities for the plane. Guess what? What? We left Griffin's backpack at the security and it's gone forever. What? 
Once we got to our gate, they were already loading our planes. We had to rush right on there. We had no time to stop and get extra snacks or food for the plane ride at all. So thankfully, I did have some snacks in my bag, like crackers, I had some M&Ms, and of course, they do give out some snacks and drinks on the plane, but I had planned to give everyone dinner before, and that just did not happen. So because we didn't end up having any activities for Griffin on the plane, it was a little bit difficult. It was hard to keep him occupied, and we did have some moments where it was kind of stressful because he was crying and not very happy. The older kids were really nice and they shared all of their activities with him and thankfully he ended up taking a nice long nap during the flight as well. So we landed in Oakland and grabbed all of our bags. Overall it was still a great trip and I'm thankful that it went as well as it did and we survived and we'll definitely try it again. Yeah.